Okay, I just got another article, and well, you got you get to see it to believe it. Check it out. The headline reads: New rule requires doctors to treat trans patients as their pretend sex. It says right here in the first paragraph: Doctors, hospitals, and insurance companies may soon face lawsuits for treating male and female patients according to their biological sex, thanks to a healthcare rule finalized in May as part of the Affordable Care Act which most people understand to be Obamacare. All right, let me scroll down a little bit here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. It says the regulations also threaten the freedom and independence of healthcare professionals who believe maleness and femaleness are biological realities to be respected and affirmed, not altered or treated as diseases. People with religious beliefs that contradict this regulation have no legal options but to compliance or filing lawsuits. So what this boils down to is if you're a Christian and let's just take the normal issue that most Christians have with Obamacare. You're a Christian and you don't want to sign on to Obamacare because if you do, you have to pay for people to kill their babies. But according to Obama, it doesn't matter what your religion is. And so you have to submit and let them kill the babies using your money or sue the doctors who will follow his orders anyway. But if a man walks into their hospital who is clearly a man, because unlike looking at someone's religion where you cannot actually see their God, a doctor has the ability to disrobe any patient he chooses so the doctor can actually see the sexual organs of the man claiming to be a woman. And the doctor is now saying he will do all he can to preserve his patient's belief in the obvious and utter lie that the man is a woman. But the Christian has to ignore their God so as to please the doctor. And these doctors, who have absolutely no common sense whatsoever to tell the difference between a man and a woman, are the same doctors we're supposed to trust with our very lives? And still, some people don't believe we are in the very last days. Thank you for watching. God bless.